Uh, Gaffer, just get your thoughts on that game then. Difficult game. Um, felt Ipswich are a top side, but you're not coming into it. It was going to be you know, a real tough game. Felt it would be close, and, and it was. Um, they obviously edged the, the chances and the shots on goal. We didn't really threaten their goal nowhere near enough as what we would have liked to, but we competed in, in throughout the game. We kept going right the way till the end. We just didn't show enough quality today in the big moments, and yeah, a few of our creative players or whatever just wasn't quite at it. Yeah, we, we we spoke in the week, didn't we, about playing these these games now, and you know every single team will be battling for points, and you know this sort of thing every now and again happens. You come up against a side that plays well. Yeah, that's it. Um, we've sort of forgotten what it's like to lose a game, which we've been on such a good run. Um, but to take 18 points out of a possible 21 is a is a brilliant achievement, and it's no no shame to come and lose away at, at Ipswich. You no, know, disappointed, obviously not not to get a result, but. As I said, they, they probably just edged it today, if we're honest. Um, I felt we played OK for 15 minutes, controlled the game and we're, we're fine. And then we just sort of lost our way a little bit, didn't pass forwards enough. And when we did get opportunities, didn't really make the most of them. And then they got the goal, which gives them um, a little bit of momentum. And then second half, we've we've kept going, we've huffed and puffed. We've had a little few set plays here and there that bounced around, but it just wasn't our day. And, and, and in the end, they probably deserved to take the three points. It's been a testing month of so many games. As you said, we've, we've done so well during it. Put ourselves in a great position for this final month to come. I mean, there'll be tricky games, but you know, this is a great spot to kind of go into that final month from, isn't it? It's, it's a brilliant spot. Are we still fourth in the league? So we're still there. We're in, we're in an unbelievable position. Um, we knew that March was was massive, like we spoke about. We took 18 points out of 21, so that's an incredible run of results. No matter how you've got them, that's what we've done. Um, and as you could see today, we've just probably the last game just took its toll a little bit. Probably lacked a little bit of energy. You could see that Ipswich hadn't played midweek. They had a little bit more in their legs than what we did. And and I say against them big teams, you need your big players and you need your big moments to you know to punish the opposition. And we just didn't make enough of them today. And but it wasn't for the lack of trying. We, we've given our all. The fans here who came, seen that the team have, have worked as hard as they possibly could. And just up against a team who was just a little bit too strong today. I know it's probably a bit too early to tell, but the injuries to to James Bolton and to Ryan Hardy. I mean, do, is there any early sort of prognosis on those? Uh, no, I think I think Bolton is more of a, a kick or a roll on his ankle. So fingers crossed that's not too serious. Um, Ryan Hardy's might be a little bit more. He said he felt his, his thigh go as he was sprinting for the ball. So he's played a lot of minutes lately. Hopefully it's a cramping issue or, or what. But we'll have to get him scanned and assessed on Monday. Um, and see how he is but it just shows at the moment where we're at we're, we're, we're stretched Look, we tried to get a 15 year old out of school to be on our bench and we couldn't because he's doing his mock exams so it just kind of shows the depth in the squad that we've got we've, we've been like that all season we've had to compete with just you know, a, a bare 18 man squad 19 man squad nearly every week and we haven't got the luxury of these big budgets and these big, big squads that these teams have got so we had to put Alfie Lewis and Dan Scar on the bench today who probably aren't ready. They probably need another week's training. So we'll have to just recover next week, try and get the lads back in and get ready to go again on Saturday against Oxford.